Hello and welcome back. I'm DMAC and today I'm quite excited because earlier on this week I received a parcel and this was a parcel that I've been waiting on for a couple of months. Uh, basically a couple of months ago I was contacted by a member of the UK Locksport Forum a chap called Heuser and uh, he's a furniture maker and he developed some products um, for lock sporters that he wanted me to take a look at. So a couple of months ago he sent me a prototype and I've used that uh, again and again, really really enjoyed it. Um, and this week he sent me the final products uh, for me to review. So um, let's uh, have a look at them near and you can see what you think. So this is the finished product here, or one of the finished products I should say. Um, this is the smaller version, I've got a larger version here which we'll have a look at in just a minute. So what have we got here? Uh, we've got a beautiful bit of handmade uh, wood, or hand finished wood should I say. And it looks like we've got a, a sort of serial number on here, so this is number 20. And we've also got, I'm sure you spotted it there, the nicely uh, laser engraved uh, DMAC logo there. You don't have to have a DMAC logo on it, you can have any logo you want on it. Obviously this one's for me. Um, so let's have a look at what we've got. So essentially we have got a pinning tray. Um, so this is a lidded pinning tray and we'll get into that in just a minute. Uh, you can use these as a normal, lid, a normal pinning tray. Um, you know, so you can put your driver pins and springs there, uh, keys and circlips and things like that. But this one, as you can see, we've got a magnet there and a magnet there. And we've got this lid. That's uh, Heuser's uh, signature there. Nice little touch. Uh, and it's a lidded pinning tray specifically designed for progressively pinning a lock. Uh, now, why would you want to progressively pin a lock? I know that a lot of people don't do it, particularly beginners. Uh, but the reality is that once you get into picking yeah, high security locks, uh, I've got a buy lock there and we've got this uh, ASA V10 mogul. If you just start randomly poking around uh, without fully understanding the contents, you're unlikely uh, to get an open. Certainly not impossible, but for most of us mere mortals, uh, it's best to kind of take these apart um, and kind of strip out most of the, um, I mean, this one here has got uh, top pins. It's also got a sidebar. So when I progressively pin this one using Heuser's trays, uh, what I did is I stripped out all the top pins and we've got five side pins in this one, which go to the sidebar. And first of all, I just put one of those in, you know, and felt around until I could pick that open. And then you put the second one in and so on and so forth, you know, gradually until you can fully pin the lock. Uh, but in the meantime, where do you put all those pins? So up until very recently, I'd been using, uh, you've got, you get these little 3D printed trays, obviously this one's open. And the trouble is if you have these uh, with all your pins and springs all in perfect order, um, and that sits up on a shelf or on your desk or wherever it is that you work in, there is a danger that it can get knocked over. And there are 3D printed versions. I've got this one recently. Um, so this one keeps all your pins and springs in there and it won't get knocked over. And these are great, but you certainly, if, you, if you're like me, I sort of work on several locks at the same time. Um, so you need, you know, multiples of these. Uh, and the truth of the matter is, as nice as a 3D print as this is, um, they're not the most uh, nice, they're not the nicest things to look at. Um, so what Hoyes has done is developed these. So the idea with these um, is that this one is the smaller tray, so this can hold uh, two sets of pins. So you could be working on two locks, so you can hold two keys in this area here with you know clips and springs and screws and that sort of thing. Uh, sorry, springs and key pins and driver pins you'd have in here and a separate one in here. If we take a look at the larger version, because I'm actually using that one at the moment. That's the larger, larger version there. And we've got the same lid in here, but this one is designed for three locks. Um, so in this one here, I've got, this is an Asa twin that I'm working on. So I've currently got the sidebar populated and the... Um, driver and key pins there and springs are sitting um, out of the lock currently. Uh, this one here is a buy lock in fact it's this one here. <clears throat> so the buy locks have got two rows of pins, you've got 12 pins all, all told, six down one side, six down the other. Each, uh, each set of six <clears throat> control a sidebar and what I've done there is I've removed one sidebar um, and one set of pins for that sidebar. So this lock is currently at half strength. So I'll learn to pick that side and then gradually I can put these pins back in. 
And up the top there, we have got an Asa 700. You can see some uh, Christmas tree pins, probably. Yeah, uh, Christmas tree pins. Yeah, there's a little Christmas tree pin at the top there. Uh, so I'm gradually working that. And what that, what it means is that I can, <clears throat> with these trays, with the larger tray, be working on three locks at the same time. Um, and I can just pop the lid on like so. The little magnet holds it in place. I'm not going to spin this around too much, um, but you can certainly sort of, you know, shake it around, mix it all up, and all of those pins are going to be in the right order. Um, and you can be uh, safe in the knowledge that uh, they are in the right order. <clears throat> um, and the, the good thing about this is uh, also that it's, as I say, you know, these aren't the prettiest things in the world. Uh, but this is actually really rather nice. So to have this on the shelf uh, doesn't look unsightly, and it uh, you know perhaps will keep your partner happy that your lock sports uh, uh, goodies aren't taking over the living room. Uh, now these trays uh, also come, which I thought was a really nice touch, with some white mineral oil. They've been treated with a mineral oil, so uh, you wouldn't need to apply this for you know perhaps a year or two, or maybe not at all. Um, but if you did want to, uh, apply, you know, just give it a coat of oil to keep it looking nice, you've got the oil there to do it. And it also comes with this little block of wax, which I wasn't sure what it was, so I did have to ask Hoiser what it was for. Uh, and that's just to be used um, if the tray, uh, tray lid ever gets sticky, then you just run the wax um, along that ridge there. And it just cuts down on the friction um, so that those lids slide freely in and out, which I think is a really nice touch. Um, so let's just have a look at the measurements of these trays um, to give you an idea. So where's my tape measure? So looking at the larger one, and this is uh, for three three locks. Uh, the measurements on this one are 200 mil by 135, and the depth is 20 mil. And the smaller tray, we've got the same there. So we've got 200 mil. And this one is, oh, it's just over four inches or 103 uh, by 20 mil again. So they're really nice and compact. Um, and it means that you can, um, yeah, store them away uh, safe in the knowledge that your pins aren't going to get uh, knocked over at all. So how do you get your hands on one of these beautiful handmade lidded pinning trays? Well, you can contact Hoiser through Instagram. That's mainly uh, where he's contactable. There's also all sorts of images of these trays and also some other products that he's been working on. Uh, I see on Instagram that he's put up some lighted followers, which look really interesting as well. So yeah, at Hoiser, double Z, H-O-Y, double Z, E-R, um, is how to find him, but I'll also put uh, a link uh, down below in the description so you can check that out. Um, these are available in various different woods. I think I've got what I've got here. This is a maple and walnut. The maple is the lighter and the walnut is the darker. And this one here is a uh, purple heart. And of course you can get uh, your logo. They don't always come with uh, DMAC logos. Um, you can get any logo you want on there uh, within reason, I'm sure. Um, and I sent over a PDF, but I believe that Hoiser can work from um, photographs. If you send a photo over, I think you can scan that. But um, yeah, head over to Instagram and you can order yours there. I think it's always nice to see when um, a member of the Locksport community comes up with a great uh, product like this and puts their furniture making skills, uh, in this case, um, to make something you know beautiful and functional like this. Um, and what I would like to do is to uh, give this smaller uh, lidded pinning tray away to one of you subscribers. So how do you get to win this beautiful tray? Well, if you just leave a comment below, let me know that you are interested in winning this. Um, and the other thing is to, if you've got Instagram, head over to Instagram and follow at Hoiser. Um, I think he's currently at 25 followers. And what I thought I would do is we'll try and get him up to 100 followers. And when Hoiser hits 100 followers, I'm going to pick someone uh, from the comments at random and you are going to win this awesome pinning tray. Um, as I say, I've been using this pinning tray, not this one particularly, uh, for a couple of months. And I've really found it an awesome product. So just want to say thanks to Hoiser uh, for coming up with this, sending it over, giving you guys the chance to win one of these. And yeah, thanks for watching. Good luck to everyone in the giveaway, and I'll see you on the next one.